Hi, welcome back to our final Making Meaning lesson together. I'm Miss Mogelson, and for the last two weeks, we have been working on the strategy of wondering and questioning. For today's lesson, you will need your IDR book and the questions that you've been asking about it. You'll also need your learning packet or a piece of paper, and you'll need a pencil or a pen. Please take some time to get those things now. Thank you for getting your materials. Today, you are going to write a journal entry about one of your IDR questions that you asked this week. Please take some time right now to reread all of your IDR questions and choose the one that you would like to write about today. Again, the directions are to reread all your IDR questions and choose a question to write about today. If you need more time to choose your question, go ahead and take that time. Thank you for choosing your question. Today you are going to write a journal entry about your question. It is important for readers to be able to explain their thinking both by speaking and by writing. And today you're going to explain your thinking in writing. Here's what your journal entry should include. Today you are going to write a journal entry about the book you are reading. Please include the title and the author's name, what the story is about, one question you wrote on a self-stick note, what you found out about that question. If you did not find out anything about the question, how would you answer the question right now and why? Before you begin to write, I'm going to model writing a journal entry based on one of the questions that I had as we were reading Keep On. Do you remember the part of the story where Matthew Henson fell through the ice? When I read that part, I had the question, how will they rescue Matthew Henson? I'm going to focus on that question as I write today. I'm going to start by rereading my first direction. The first direction says I need to include the title and the author's name. In your packet, you'll see a journal entry page like this, or you will just do your writing on your piece of paper. I need to write the title and the author's name, but because this is a journal entry, I need to make sure that I'm writing it in sentence form. Also, all of my uh, answers are going to be part of the same topic, so I'm going to use a paragraph as I am writing. I read, keep on, by Deborah Hopkinson. Did you notice I put that information in a complete sentence? The second instruction tells me I need to include what the story is about. So I'm going to think about what are the important parts to tell from Keep On. The first thing I want to say is the story is about an Arctic explorer named Matthew Henson. I'm going to use a capital A as I write Arctic, since it's a proper noun. And I'm going to use a capital M 
as I write Matthew, and a capital H as I write Henson, because both of those are proper nouns. I need to tell a little bit more than just saying that the story was about an Arctic explorer named Matthew Henson. So I'm also going to add that the story tells about how Mr. Henson became an explorer and reached the North Pole. Did you notice that because several things happened in the story, I needed to make sure I used more than one sentence to explain what happened. Let's look at the third direction together. The third direction says we need to include one question you wrote on a self stick note. And we know for us that might also be on scratch paper, or you may have written on your asking questions page in your packet. The question that I'm going to talk about is, how will they rescue Matthew Henson? But I'm not just going to write that sentence right here, because it wouldn't make sense to say, the story tells how Mr. Henson became an explorer and reached North Pole. How did they rescue Matthew Henson? I need to introduce my question a little bit more. So I'm going to introduce it by using the phrase one question I had was how they will rescue Henson. And even though my question just says, how will they rescue Matthew Henson? I think I probably need to also include a little bit of what they're rescuing him from. One question I had was how um, they will rescue Henson when he falls through the ice. When you write your question, you may need to add a little bit so your reader understands the part that you're asking about. The fourth direction that we're going to follow is I'm going to include what you found out about that question. Let's take a moment to think about that part of the story. My question was on this part of the book when we read about Henson falling through the ice. When I continue to read, this is what I read on page five, or excuse me, page 25. Then in a flash, strong Uta was there. He grabbed Matt and pulled him out as if he were picking up a puppy by the scruff of his neck. He tore off Matt's sealskin boots, beat the water from his bearskin trousers, saving the sledge and Mari Paluk's life and they simply kept on. My question was directly answered in the text. I now know that he, Matthew Henson was rescued by, um, was rescued uh, by Uta when Uta pulled him out. So that's what I'm going to write about now. 
I'm going to introduce my answer by starting with the phrase, I found out. You might want to use that as you're writing today as well. I found out that Uta pulled Mr. Henson and his sledge out of the water. I also found out that Uta pulled Mr. Henson's clothes and boots off to get some of the cold water out. So I think I'm gonna add that part as well because that's part of what saved Matthew Henson. Now, I was lucky in that my question was answered in the text. Watch as I double check to make sure I have all the parts of my journal entry completed. I'm going to reread to make sure that I have the title and the author's name, what the story is about, one question I wrote on a self-stick note, what I found out about that question, and this is the part some of you may need to do instead. You may need to write about, if you didn't find out the answer, what you think the answer would be. Watch as I reread to check my work. I read Keep On by Deborah Hopkinson. The story is about an Arctic explorer named Matthew Henson. The story tells how Mr. Henson became an explorer and reached the North Pole. One question I had was how they will rescue Henson when he falls through the ice. I found out that Uta pulled Mr. Henson and his sledge out of the water. I also found out that Uta pulled Mr. Henson's clothes and boots off too to get the cold water out of them. I noticed that I have all the important parts, but I also notice that Mr. Henson's clothes needs an apostrophe because I have a possessive. Mis the clothes belong to Mr. Henson. Did you notice that as I wrote my journal entry today, I used the directions to make sure I was including all of the important information. I also made sure that I gave my answers using complete sentences so that other people were, would be able to read and understand my thinking easily. All my ideas were just about one question, and so I included all of my sentences in one paragraph. When you are done with your journal entry today, please find someone to share it with, either someone who lives with you, or maybe you can even show it to your teacher. Today, your IDR time is going to be a writing time. I will put the directions for your journal entry back up so that you can have those same directions and reread them as you are writing today. 
but you can also find these same directions in your learning packet as well. I want to thank you so much for spending the last two weeks with me and for all the hard work that you are doing to continue to build your comprehension strategies at home. I want to wish you happy reading and today, happy writing.